I'm here at work on break and just got a notification that increased starter Pokemon spawns have happened and new gifts are in the shop. So when I get off work, let's go over it and see how the spawns are. Well, just got off work. Time to see what's going on in the Pokemon Go world. First, I'm hungry though. Let's get something to eat. One thing I also love, it's payday. What fast food burger joint has one of the, I would say, less greasy burgers? If you guessed Wendy's, you'd be right. Son of a bacon eater. Hello, so Wendy's. Can I help you? Yeah, can I get a number five? Mayonnaise and ketchup? Uh, yes, please. Small, medium, or large, and what's your drink? Uh, medium with a Diet Coke. All right, anything else? Oh, nope, that'll be all. Okay, 34, first window, please. Thank you. Thank you. Booyah. I love that son of, bana of uh, Baconator. Gosh, I'm butchering that. Baconator. <laughs> um, the big Baconator? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a lot of food, and that's super unhealthy. I mean, the son of Baconator is unhealthy, too, but... Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. Come on, let's see the let's see the Pokemon. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. New gifts, too. New ones. And they're a little bit more expensive too. Hi. Hello. Eight thirty-four hundred. So hungry though. I haven't eaten all day. Good service here. That's for sure. Thank you. So this little event now, it's uh, you get all the starter Pokemon and their evolutions. You can find them in the wild a lot easier. Their spawns are increased basically. And then the gifts, of course. The Gen 2 eggs still carry over till the complete end of the event, which is like January 8th, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. And also, the event has started. I said the 30th, the beginning of my last video. And I thought it was the 31st. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Woo. But I thought it was the 30th, but it should have been the end of the week, and it's Friday. But you gotta remember that it starts at 000 UTC time, which is in London, I believe, Britain. So it's like 3.49 right now. And it, that means it's the next day there in Great Britain. So the game automatically updates and we've got our second half of the event, the holiday event. While I'm chowing down, let's look at the new loading screen. Mute that. Oh, look how cute that is. You got Elekid, Cleffa, Pichu, Igglybuff, and Togepi looking at the fireworks for the new year. And holy crap, there's a Dratini. Ah, oh, geez. So much for sitting down and eating. But, yeah. That's what the loading screen looks like for confirmation of the event starting. The second half. And here are the new boxes. We got bronze, silver, and gold. And if you watched the last video, if you haven't, make sure you do. I talk about it includes lure modules now this is a super good deal you get a hundred pokeballs and eight lure modules for 460 that is a great deal actually I would not mind paying for that because I run out of pokeballs like it's nobody's business that's a great deal because look a hundred pokeballs is 460 already and you get an extra eight lures pretty awesome the silver box gives you eight incenses which I don't know why they threw those back in there but hey whatever eight lucky eggs and eight lure modules the eight lucky eggs is about 550 coins i believe and then the eight lure modules so pretty good deal on that if they would have changed the incense incenses into maybe 25 great balls that would have been better and then you got the big daddy roughly 25 dollars in value which is a lot you get 50 great balls 25 incenses 25 lucky eggs and 16 lures um the instances, again, a lot of people don't necessarily use. Lucky eggs, that's great. You might never have to buy lucky eggs again, but hey, you never know. And then the lure modules, that's a lot too. But for 25 bucks, dang, I don't know. I really don't. See, what's strange is everyone argues that it's not pay to play, but this is proof because this these events are lasting, um, I think, 14 days. Yeah, two weeks. So if you got the maximum amount of coins every day for 14 straight days you would have 1400 coins 
and you would not be able to afford a gold box, basically. So how is that not pay to play? You would have to purchase more coins to get these gold boxes. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, you don't have to spend money, you don't have to get the gold box. But I mean, come on guys, some of us, like me included, love to play this game. And we want to get the best value and the best bang for our buck if we do spend money. So, oh well. Definitely liking that bronze box, so 100 Pokeballs, 8 lures. Lures come in handy, especially for the event now, because you can get uh, the increased spawns of Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and the Evolution, so. But, that's it with all the gifts we're getting for this holiday event. Let's see if the increased spawns are for show. In Walmart, yeah, I know. I've tried to avoid this place as much as possible, but I'm in the market for a really good portable speaker, but a big one, like not a small one, so. I'm gonna see what they got. I'm an idiot. When I was in there, I just realized that I'm gonna be at Best Buy tomorrow and I might as well spend my hard earned money and get rewarded for it by getting a big portable speaker at Best Buy, so. Till tomorrow, we'll see what I get. See, my town doesn't have a Best Buy. Go ahead and laugh it up. It's not funny. Alrighty, here's proof of the increased starter Pokemon spawns. <gasps> there he is. Charmander. This is my last one, and I can get a Charizard. Woohoo! We'll evolve that later in the video on the way to Best Buy and had to stop because I saw this little guy on the nearby. One, two, three. Woohoo! Awesome. We got him. There's a lot of Pokemon that spawn it at the Best Buy too, so let's see if uh let's see if we can get some more Charmanders. Oh my gosh! Well speak of the devil! He just spawned! There's Squirtle. Huh. If I'm here for two more seconds, Bulbasaur might pop up. The spawns are pretty stout, it looks like. One, two, and three. Alright, well, two starter Pokemon. One Pokestop. Cool. There's even a coughing on the nearby, but I doubt we'll find him. Alright. So I decided to come to Best Buy after all. Brought my sister with me. Figured might as well get it all done in one night. Ugh. Just got a Best Buy. Got me a portable speaker. Guy highly recommended this one. And I always get great service at Best Buy. It's got a little sub on the back of it. Now they make a bigger version. That was like $400. This one was originally 200, got it for 100. And this is going to be my new speaker for when I work out. I'm going to jam out to this. Woohoo! All right, so we are downtown. Downtown is definitely the hot spot for sure. Going to get those pokey stop spins and whatnot. Holy cow! Charizard. The first wild one I've ever seen. No way. That is awesome. I don't have very many supplies though. Sweet. Very first ever Charizard. I don't even care what the CP is. This is incredible. Oh crap. This is... Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. They didn't tell me how hard it was going to be to catch this guy. Come on. First try. Please. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh. I got him! My first Charizard ever! Woohoo! Heck yeah. Ember Flamethrower? I'll take it. I'll take it. Although these are lured, this just goes to show you how crazy the spawns are. It is 100% legit. I just caught that Charizard. 
And then someone just came here and lured both of these in Bulbasaur. There's actually another Bulbasaur near uh, the one you see now because it's on the nearby. I'm just out of range. And then Charmeleon. And there's another Charmeleon. Let's click on this. Oh, he's not on the nearby. Well, look, there's a Squirtle right over there. So it, it's crazy, guys. Uh, get out, and if you don't have a Venusaur, a Blastoise, or a Charizard, get out and get it while you can. You could probably get it in one night if you try hard enough. So this is incredible, and it's a lot of fun for sure. I almost forgot. Got to evolve my 88% IV Charmeleon. Let's do it. I've been waiting forever. I mean, since the game came out. Yes, I just caught my first Charizard, but I've been waiting forever to evolve this thing. Come on, please be Wing Attack Fire Blast. That would be so awesome. Or even Ember Fire Blast. Oh, come on. Wing Attack Flamethrower. I'll take it. I will take it. As long as I got a Flame Second move, that's all I care about, because... I think Dragon Claw is the other move he can learn. Very nice. And just once again, to confirm how crazy the spawns have been, I'm going to click on my recent. Scroll up here. Look at that. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Charmander, Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur. And that was all within 15 minutes. So that's incredible. All right, guys. So the event is live. Make sure you go out there and try to get that Charizard, Venusaur, or Blastoise you don't have yet. Really cool. Um, you're going to see those flood in the gyms, but that's all right. Um, another thing I will add is definitely stock up on Pokeballs, Great Balls, or Ultra Balls because I don't know what Niantic did. And yes, I do know that the starter Pokemon are hard to catch, but man, these seems like a whole nother level. So stock up on those items so you can catch those Pokemon and evolve them and get those third evolutions that you need. I finally got Charizard. That's awesome. Now all I'm missing is Dragonite and Kabutops to finish off my North America Pokédex, so pretty excited about that. I'm walking Dratini now. That's it with the Pokémon Brothers. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're always giving you the latest updates, preparing you guys for Gen 2. And have a good night, guys. We'll see you next time.